Hi, everybody. I think we have a quorum. We can get started. Uh, let's see. No, no super major announcements on the simulator side. We're continuing to um, roll out the script scheduling improvements. Those are um, in more places and with more other changes now. Um, and seem to be mostly good. It's possible there will still be some scripts that will have unfortunate effects uh, in that we've changed the timing of things. Uh, and we'll be glad to help scripters who need help trying to figure out how to repair them. Yeah, un uh, unfortunately, most of the screams on the JIRA don't have enough information in them for us to actually figure out what's going on, but we're, we'll try to get in touch with people and, and figure that out. Um, but uh, I, I think we'll be able to sort those things out pretty quickly. Uh, so... Um, Veer, uh, what's the current state of the viewer pipeline? I know we've got an awful lot at various stages. Yeah, we've got a lot going on on the viewer side. Uh, so most recent change is we got the um, uh, Singleton shutdown viewer promoted. Um, that's gone out recently, and that uh, uh, seems to help with the uh, rate of crashes on shutdown. Um, but it's all it's all kind of you know, infrastructure stuff. There's not any new features associated with that. Um, in terms of things that we have in the pipeline after that, um, there's the the profiles viewer moving, uh, uh, you know, bas basically moving away from the um, web profiles and. That is pretty darn close at this point. It's waiting on one change on the website that we know of, and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, able to get out pretty quickly once we've got that resolved. Um, uh, there's a, there's an improved build tools project uh, in in progress that is um, uh, it's coming along well, but I think still needs a Still needs a bit more work. Um, that one is the one where we replace the infrastructure that's under the coroutines, and we're still debugging some of the differences between one infrastructure and the other. But uh, it's it's working out. We'll 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 get those. Yeah. Uh, so we've got uh, we've got the usual, uh, you know, main stuff in the pipeline, um, and we have uh, EEP. We've got two uh, graphics folks working full time on trying to get the remaining EEP uh, graphics issue sorted out. So um, just take some time to get everybody up to speed on that. But I think they're uh, they're starting to make some headway on it and. And once we can get those remaining issues sorted out, we'll be going uh, be going out with deep. Um, let's see what else is going on. There's uh, there's some work on improved camera presets that's in its own viewer, and uh, making good progress on that. Uh, we've got the compiler updates, uh, support for VS 2017, and uh, whatever the corresponding updated Xcode is. Xcode um, has been updated, I think, three or four times. They, they've been putting updates, updates out really fast, yeah. so I'm, I'm not sure which one we're on, but the goal is to stay up with the latest one yeah. as of um, the end of the project. Generally, adjusting to, to later Xcodes isn't as traumatic as adjusting to Visual Studio changes, but we have had to do a bit of tweaking on that. Um, and... Let's see what else. Uh, there's a there's a mesh uploader improvements here that we're trying to get some more bandwidth on. It's uh, it's kind of been in line behind some other stuff for a while, and uh, we're trying to get that unblocked. Um, you know, try to focus like the main efforts on just the highest priority changes, uh, really serious issues, and see if we can get a bit more 
attention to getting some of the more featureful uh, updates out, including the mesh uploader. Uh, and I think those are the main ones right now, but uh, at this point, we don't really know what the next um, next viewer to promote is going to be. Uh, just getting them to fight it out. Are there release events on third party viewers that we should be looking forward to? Or are you going to be sensible and not do anything during the holidays? Well, you'll be pleased to know that Singularity has finally come out of Alpha, which has been in for over a year, and gone into Beta. <laughs> and apparently, sometime in the next 15, 20 years, we'll have a, we'll have a release. They're actually, they're actually saying they're going to do it imminently now. And uh, it's back up to date, so that's rather good. That's great to hear. I, oh, nice. I hadn't... I hadn't tracked them. That's that's very very good. Question for you, actually, Oz. Are you aware of these restart problems? We we're having. I know this is not strictly third party viewer, but three times right. this week we've had your guys out after we've done a we do daily restarts, but three times the regions have failed to come back, and um, I even called them out yesterday for a mainland region. Um, do you happen to know which? server version they were um yeah i do actually yeah um because which which one which one is it because if it's the one that's in rc now then we probably understand the problem already uh, and i can i can check with support about the specifics of yours but if you yeah, have no, the... I, I, I did drop a line to Ryder earlier, but I think I think you went offline. But the latest one, this is this is you guys um, restarting it because I, I restarted it. I don't fail to come back. Right. Uh, That's that region. Uh, yeah, but that's that's not the version number. Although I could figure out the version number from that. Let me let me look. Uh, um, so it's twice for that one this week. Once for London City North and once for a region, a mainland region, Mefflo Tour, but each one of them has failed to come back after restart. Worth pointing out, Governance Seven was in the region at the time. Had a had a look around. There's no skull buggery, it's, so it's just it's just to do with restarts failing. Yeah, okay. I that that is the main channel version. So I don't think it's the problem I knew about. We had a bunch of regions over the weekend that on the RCs that had problems. Which we figured out but then fixed, but uh I'm I'm not sure. We'd we'd have to check with support about about what what the difficulty was with getting yours come to come back. Okay, I mean, we, we restart every day, so presumably we have a, a bigger chance. Why, why do you restart every day? 
um, because we have about, I think it's about three and a half thousand TPs every day in the two London city, the main one, it starts chugging. And you believe that that improves things somehow? Well, we notice the script time drops down to about 20% and after restart it goes back up to 90 odd, so yeah. Has that has that changed since we did the the these last couple server versions? You might want to leave it for a few days and see if you see that effect again because we we have made script scheduler improvements that may make a difference. Well, I, I did report a, an issue on Tuesday to Ryder as well that we've had a couple of really really dodgy restarts where it's it, it, the the sim fires up the region flies up with just 10% of scripts running. So we bring it down quickly, restart it again, it comes back at 90. Um, we put it down to dodgy hardware somewhere, something's gone a bit wonky, but you know that, that, that still persists. We have to go in and check the region after each restart to make sure it's come back correctly. Oh yeah, well I, un I understand that. And I know there were a couple of instances of, uh, you know, I, I, know, I have no idea whether it was one of yours, but there was one region um, after the last RC, or one set of regions, I should say, after the last roll that came up on a host that uh, it turned out to be on a bad switch port. And we we moved it to a different switch port and every, all the stats on it got better. Um, so, but, you know, those things occasionally happen. So we figured it was we figured it was something like that because once once that right done, it's th those are those are sort of routine and it's unfortunate when they happen to you but there there isn't actually anything that's systematically wrong there the the stuff I'm more concerned about well the question I'm more interested in is if you if you held off and let it run for four or five days, would you see the same degradation in script performance that you used to see when you, uh, now, because we have made important changes in that area. So it might be I, that I it's- that, that, it, but I've, I've got also got a region in Prelude, so it suits me to restart that because when I have Prelude new, new users, some of them are not new users, some of them are bots, so, a restart each day gets them out because they can't come back. Sorry, what's Prelude? Um, Prelude is where they sign up on your registration site and get born directly into it. Oh, that, right, sure. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, so you have, right, you have a new user gateway that's that's directed to you. Correct, yeah. So right. obviously, I don't want a ton of bots in there sending out now marks to everyone. So bringing it down each day clears them out because they can't return. Ah, yes. Okay. That well, that's a different problem altogether. I, I will try that on my main region. I reckon two or three days and see what uh, see what's what and see if we're in soup or not. be very uh, useful to know. So, thank you. Um, we have have already started looking into two-factor authentication. I can't give you any prediction about when we'll be able to offer it, but it's definitely on the roadmap. We will we will certainly do it. Um, there are a bunch of things that it. Uh, there are a bunch of other changes that overlap with it in terms of where they have to be implemented, and we have gotten a little gun shy about doing two major changes at the same time because 
if either one goes wrong, it hangs up the both of them. So it's in a it's in a release train somewhere four or five cars back, and we'll uh, you know when it gets its turn in the front, we'll we'll do it. Um, uh, I I am most I'm most definitely not even going to try to guess about about when that would be, but it is um, firmly on the roadmap as a pretty soon kind of a thing. Um, we don't plan to add the Flickr feature. In fact, we're we're taking out support for all of the Facebook, Flickr, Twitter upload things. And the reason is just very simple. All of them keep changing the rules and keep changing the APIs, uh, usually without notice. <laughs> and uh, it's it's just too much trouble to keep try to keep up with them uh, and sometimes there's nothing we can do to fix it so uh, we're just going to go back to we're going to simplify the interface on the floater a little bit we're going to just say save it to disk and drag the drag the picture onto the client that that service supports and do the right thing there um, it just is not has not proven to be something that we can maintain compatibility with. It's a, a big distraction. It's unfortunate. I you know it seems like a simple a simple service that they could offer in a straightforward way, but that has not been the case. So we're going to decommission the server-side support one of these days real soon. But some of them don't work anyway, so effectively they're already decommissioned. Yeah. Uh, a method that's purely in the client might work better. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah. Obviously no no problem with doing that but the way we were doing it wasn't proving to be maintainable. That's great, Kitty. Looking forward to that. That'll be really cool. Oh, nice. Very excited. Uh, web profiles is going to be a thing of the past. That's one of the uh, viewer projects we have going. Um, I think the only web content remaining for that is going to be the feed. Right. Right. The, f the feed panel, the feed tab will be a web 
thing, but the rest will not. Is that the thing about when someone's following you, that one? Um, the feed is kind of like your Facebook feed. You can post pictures and notes and things to it, and other people can post to it. I I don't use it much. And yeah, that's when someone's following you and all that sort of thing, because you, you suddenly get a message from somebody. Yeah, I think you might. I think that, that might be that. Right. The, um, the interesting twist will be that um, you know, some of the data comes from s subtly different places now. So you'll want to you'll want to check your profile description and that to make sure that it survived the transition smoothly. Drama in Second Life, really? Who ever heard of such a thing? We prefer to think of it as a comedy. <laughs> There you go, nice. Oh, that's great. Well, if it's any help, Kitty, we appreciate it.
Uh, one one other thing I wanted to make sure that we mentioned we will not have a meeting two weeks from now. That will be hitting the Linden Lab Thanksgiving holiday. So the next meeting will be in four weeks. And hopefully we'll have lots of new stuff for you then. Yeah, right. We'll all be regretting our excesses from the previous days. We'll be at the trying to get things out before the end of the year stage. It will be fun. So I guess it'll be Friday, December 13th. So all the suspicious, all the superstitious people should stay away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Well, good luck with how that comes out. Whatever you think, good luck is. Um, Any other uh, any other topics we ought to cover before we get to start on the weekend? Actually, I already started on the weekend. I just came back for this one meeting. The shed is almost done. I only have the roof to do. Got all the wood trim done today. Yay. I'll share a picture when it's all all finished. Yeah, I think that I think that works for me, Tor. Okay, let's uh, let's head for whatever it is you do to kick off the weekend. Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs>